So, if you guys want to get your hands on a free Sinnoh starter and a free Hisuian Growlithe, well, guess what? This is the guide for you. The Teal Mask is out, and guess what? There are a bunch of gift Pokemon you can get your hands on. So, let's start with the first one, which is going to be, of course, a free Sinnoh starter. Now, the crazy part about these is you're given them from the beginning. You can get one of them only. Keep in mind, it's only one, and they're given to you by Jacques. Now, Jacques, of course, is one of the teachers from the main Scarlet and Violet games. So, all you got to do is, when you're in the starting town here, Head to the east side of the map, cross the bridge, and next to this tree, you will find him. After you have a long conversation with him and have a bit of a picnic with him, talking with him for a bit, guess what? He will give you a egg. And inside of this egg, you'll be given, guess what? A, sh well, not a shiny, but just a regular starter from Sinnoh. Now, the thing is, the starter choice, what you're going to be given inside of the egg, I think is determined based on your starter that you chose or the starter that was, I guess, weak against you. So if you chose, I guess, Hue Coco, uh, you know, then technically Sprigatito would be the weakest one. So you might get a Turtwig. It's not really 100%. I'm not sure of it. I personally got myself a Turtwig, but I'm pretty sure I chose Hue Coco during this playthrough. So it is a little bit confusing, but nonetheless, you're able to get yourself a free starter Pokemon. However, there is one more Pokemon you can get, which is specifically Hisui and Growlithe. Now, for Hisui and Growlithe, all you gotta do is actually complete the quest line for Perrin. This is the quest line where you specifically get the Blood Moon Ursa Luna. If you guys wanna watch that video, there's actually a video I made on this, how to get the Blood Moon Ursa Luna and how to do that quest line. But basically, the things you gotta do is get 150 Pokemon in your Kitakami Pokedex, uh, go to the, I guess, Timeless Woods, uh, take 10 photos of different Pokemon, and then you simply gotta battle the Blood Moon Ursa Luna and capture it. Once you've done this and you actually talk to Perrin after you've done this whole quest line, this whole side quest, if you talk to her, she will give you a Hisuian Growlithe, a free one for you to keep and have. There is one more hidden gift Pokemon, which I've yet to find, but I will be posting a video very shortly once I figure out where it is.